What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right. So before I get into this video, I want to give a shout out to a couple of subscribers for showing love to the channel. Uh, much respect to uh, Jeremiah Thompson for the one dollar donation uh, via the Cash App, and uh, I see a note says a video request. So I'll probably do a video on that uh, later on this week. I also want to give a shout out to Shafid Cornelius for the five dollar donation via the Cash App. Leaves a note saying Sixers are falling apart by injury, and um, yeah, I mean, but like I, I, I'm just a lot of these things. I just you see a player's history. And you just come to expect these things. You know Joel Embiid is injury riddle. You know that James Harden is injury riddle. Then you're always going to have these unfortunate injuries that occur during the year anyway. And uh, you just know there's going to be a high, uh, you know, a high risk of an injury plague season. James Harden has been showing his age. Joel Embiid has been injury riddled his entire career. You know what I'm saying? And uh, then, you know, when you do shit like that fake ass Ben Wallace, karma is a bitch. So, you know, I'm not surprised. But much respect to you for showing love to the channel. All right. So, the Brooklyn Nets. Defeated the Memphis Grizzlies on Sunday, 127-115. And in that game, Ben Simmons had by far his best game of the season. 22 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. 11-13 shooting from the floor, and 1 steal. So those are back-to-back -back games that Ben Simmons looked like himself. I think I think that was the first time Ben Simmons looked like you know himself since a preseason game against the Bucks when Giannis wasn't playing. Where I think he had like I don't know off the top of my head sixteen points, sixteen rebounds, or some shit like that. I think the other game before that one, Ben had like fifteen points, thirteen assists, and seven rebounds. So. A lot of people are singing his praises and saying, you know, we told you, you just need to bend, need some time, and yada, yada, yada. I'm of this opinion. I don't know how many times I've seen Russell Westbrook have a good game. And yes, I always go back to Russ. That shit last year and this year earlier, I told you I don't forget shit, man. Um, I've seen Russ have good performances. And people say, hey, he need to keep continuing it before you get some praise from me. You know, uh, matter of fact, I could even go all the way with the shit Sh uh, Stephen A. Smith says. Oh, we know he can put up numbers, but can he win? You know, so if that's the if that's the bar, then hey, you know, Ben Simmons, you can put up numbers. I need you to put up numbers more consistently before I start singing your praises. You know, if you go. A week or two, and you putting up numbers like this consistently. Everybody has bad games, but if you put up these types of numbers consistently, then I'll go ahead and reconsider and say, okay, well he's turned the corner. And I got to give him credit. But uh, nah, I need more than that. Nope, can't just be quitting on your teams and all this bullshit. And you put up two. Uh, meaningless good performances against, you know, teams in the regular season and all of a sudden I'm supposed to turn a corner on you like that? Nope. Nope. Uh, uh, nope. Uh, uh, nope. Uh, I won't. <laughs> no.